Now we're alone. Uh, try and remember exactly what happened. Well, I got into bed and Miss Vushka turned out the light. So you were in bed with a Miss Vushka? Yeah, no, I was up to the other end. Uh, the other end of what? Uh, the caravan. She was up the one end, I was up the other. And then I suddenly saw a quick flash. Oh, did you? Yeah, yes, I thought at first it was lightning, but then I suddenly received this violent blow to the head. And after that, I don't remember anything. Just a moment. I think I know where your splinter came from. I do, do you where? From your splint. Oh, well, well, it's dreadfully painful. Do you think you could get it out? I'll take a look at it. Yes? It's a big one, Doctor. Yes, I know. But it's only a small splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome George Layton. <laughs> Mr. Strain and I share everything. <laughs> Hello, oh. doctor, I say. Yeah, yeah. Well, what a bedside manner you have. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, there's a funny story to that, actually. Go on, then. I mean, that's 48 years of being an actor, and that's what they show. And you don't think any different. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I, that was one morning in Pinewood, uh -huh. and I introduced Kenneth Williams. We did a little rehearsal where I pretended to cut him. On the take, he actually moved, and I spliced oh. his toe. Oh. He was seething. Oh. I, sent, I sent him a last applause, a little sort of token of affection afterwards and yeah, never got a sorry. reply. It was oh, never dear. mentioned the diaries either. <laughs> he oh. was spitting blood. Oh, well, he was oh. spouting blood as well. <laughs> Excuse me, you've got you've lipstick got the... now oh, on your yeah. beard. Yeah. And oh, that's beard. not a good look, darling. No, the, there you go. Uh, can I, can the beard I just here clarify for the how the two of you know each other? Oh, Linda's been my wife many times. More than my wife has in many things. <laughs> I, I, I know him. Oh. I, yes, I know you better than your wife. You do, yeah. yeah we, that's not she true, Moya. Was she always his bossy, George? Uh, no, utterly reliable. Working with Linda gave me absolute confidence, you see. She was oh. never bossy, no. <laughs> and uh, we did stage plays together. We've done two or three, four films together. Yes. Stand-up Virgin Soldiers. Of the calibre, actually, of Carry On, you know, very well, intellectual films. What was it? Confessions of a... Driving it <laughs> 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 I've never seen it. I've never seen it. But I have seen Stand Up Virgin Soldiers. I thought it was rather a good little movie. Yeah, why but... did they always put you two together as husband and wife? Um... Well, well, uh, well, well don't break, kind of... get breaking my heart with. Uh, yes. Yeah. I know we've done. I don't know. We, we, we go well together. Yeah. Tell us about your play, because I'm not in that, sadly. Ah, but you've seen it. <laughs> you've seen it. Where were you yeah. lot? She's researched it. You see. Uh, it's called The Bespoke Overcoat at the New End Theatre in Hampstead. It's finishing this Saturday. It's been extended for a month, and uh, it's had rave reviews. It's a little fringe theatre. So anybody wants a, a trip up to Hampstead at the New End? It lasts 45 minutes. Goes up at 7.15, I'm back in my garden at 8.15. What a job! <laughs> I tell you, I'll never do a full-length play again. What's, it's it, what's perfect, it about, though? What's it's, it about? A, it's, it's about... Uh, you can correct me here, but uh, it's about love, guilt, conscience and poverty. Yeah. It sounds a bundle of laughs. There are laughs in it, but it is a sad story. I play Maury the tailor. I had yeah. to age myself up, you see. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he has this old friend who's actually starving to death, really. I mean, he's, he's shivering. He wants a, to get a coat from his boss, who said you won't live long enough to pay it off. So I decided to make him a bespoke overcoat at mm -hmm. cost. And um, he, can't, he gets the sack and can't pay it, and it's about how Maury finishes the coat. But sadly, my character is an alcoholic and has the guilt of not finishing the coat in time, and poor Fender dies. Beautifully played by David Graham, I must say. Mm -hmm. And uh, he dies, and it's really Maury's guilt. It's a form of ghost story, it's his guilt that he didn't finish the coat in time. He, he carries that guilt with him, that he could have saved his life. But you can't say this, cos that sounds a bit, you know, you don't want 45 minutes morning. of being depressed. No, it's but, funny. It's... Um, what's so lovely is watching these two actors be these two lovely old boys, mm. and, that, and in a very small theatre like it is, I think sometimes it's lovely to go from a big West End production and yeah. all the rest to that intimacy mm. and watch you two... It's a really nice... It was well, a really nice I, I actually, I love fringe theatre. I don't know if it's to do with being a big fish in a small pool. It's though, isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah. there's no pay, but I remember <laughs> the King's Head, for instance. I did Billy Lyle. Well, Cherie, um, Cherie uh, did it with her. Uh, Lungi. No, Sherry no. Houston. Houston. Oh, Sherry Houston. Houston. She played well, my you wife. Survived, really? I did survive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, see, it's such a small theatre. At the curtain call, I took a bow and banged somebody on the head in the front row. <laughs> 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 we we yeah. saw you back then, obviously. You know, in the in the, in the 1960s. Yes. Uh, you've moved on a, a wee bit from from then, because obviously, you know, we're in the noughties. What age are you now in your head? Yes. Would you say? I, th I always think I'm younger than I am. In my head, I'm certainly in my early twenties. Mm. Yeah. And do you act that way? I mean, are, I that, think I do. are you I like Helena? Think... The moments where you think, yeah, yeah. Of no, course. well, I, you know, 
I've got four kids. They, they, they always like coming around with their friends. I, I think we're a different generation. Mm. My dad, at 50, I was young, but he, he was a worn-down old yeah, man. Seemed older, didn't he seemed older, He was a bit yeah. like the, the, the character Fender in the play. He was yeah. a clerk, and, uh -huh. uh, 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 and he, he didn't earn much money. And I think he, mm. the, the pressure of just keeping the family together... He was an Austrian refugee, you know. He, yeah. he, he did marvellously to, 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 to bring the family up, but uh, I think we... we um, Life goes mm. much faster now. We mm. don't dwell on things. We've got so much going on in our lives. And who rules? Do you think it's be nice if we ladies know rule who the rules. world? <laughs> who rules your house, oh. ladies? I, Moya. Any man <laughs> who says his wife doesn't rule the house is a liar. It's a liar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. And also, I'm, I'm happy to be ruled by by, by my wife. And uh, you know, we've just been doing work at the house. I said we don't need this. We don't need that because I don't like spending money. <laughs> Every time I have to go down and say you're absolutely right, it's wonderful. And also, I find it very easy to apologise. I even apologise when I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, no, honestly, I, you know, I How love, I love women's company, you see. Yeah. So. How long has your marriage lasted? We've been together 36 years. That's why. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And we met on This Is Your Life, isn't that right? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It, it was my dear friend Richard O'Sullivan's life, and uh, uh, I was getting divorced, and she'd just gone through a horrible relationship, and I chatted two women up, actually, I have to confess, but the other lady got up <laughs> seven feet tall. <laughs> And I zero on the on my wife's blue eyes. Oh, she's very blue, blue eyes. gorgeous. And that was on the Wednesday, went out on the Saturday, and we're together ever since. And that's yeah. 36 years ago. Beautiful. And she's very patient to live with me, but she's, she's lovely. Yeah, Do you know, she's... George, it's lovely to meet you. Best of luck with the play. And, Thank you. And well done yes. with the extension and all that. Yeah. Uh, George Layton, everyone. Woo! We're taking a quick break, but think about this. When faced with trouble on the street, would your instinct be to just carry on walking by? We'll see you soon.